Remember, prevent to protect. Prenatal infections are caused by bacteria or viruses that can be passed from mother to her baby during pregnancy or delivery. Pregnant women may be susceptible to infection because their immune system is slightly less reactive to prevent the rejection of the fetus. February is International Prenatal Infection Prevention Month and we are making people aware of this serious issue with the intention to safeguard the babies from the upsetting results of prenatal infections. Let us look at some of the diseases that can be transferred to your baby. TB It is a bacterial infection which most often affects the lungs. However, it can also affect other parts of the body. It is present in all over the world and spreads by droplets in air, that is, from person to person. If present during pregnancy, it can cause complications for the fetus if treatment is delayed. Hepatitis B It is a virus that attacks the liver. All women should be tested for this virus when they have their prenatal lab work done. Most women who have hepatitis B do not even know that they are sick. There are many ways you can get hepatitis B. The virus can be transmitted sexually or by direct contact with infected blood or blood products. If you are infected during pregnancy, you can pass the infection on to your baby. Rubella or German measles. Rubella causes rash, fever and symptoms of an upper respiratory tract infection. If you get rubella during early pregnancy, it could be devastating for your baby. Majority of people get exposed to rubella during childhood and they become immune to it once they develop antibodies with age. Streptococcus Group B Streptococcus or GBS is a bacteria that can cause infection and death in newborn infants. However, the mortality rates have declined after the introduction of antibiotics to women exposed to the risk during labor in 1980s. GBS is normally found in the vagina and rectum of about 25% of all healthy and adult women. A mother can pass GBS to her baby during delivery. Vaginal Infections Vaginal infections have been linked with pregnancy in the tubes, that is, ectopic pregnancy, preterm labor, babies born too early, and pelvic inflammatory disease, an infection in the uterus and tubes that can lead to problems getting pregnant in the future. Babies born early have a much higher chance of dying within the first year of life. Bacterial Vaginosis or BV It is the most common vaginal infection in women of childbearing age. This infection is associated with an increased risk of preterm birth, premature rupture of the membranes, PPROM, and uterine infection if not treated. With this infection, you may notice an increase in vaginal discharge and a fishy odor. More than half of all women with this infection do not have any symptoms. Trichomoniasis or Trick Trick is a common sexually transmitted infection or STI caused by a microscopic parasite. With this infection, you may have an increased yellow-green vaginal discharge with itching and a foul odor. Pregnant women with Trick may have babies who are born early or weigh less than 5 pounds. Human Immunodeficiency Virus or HIV. HIV is a virus, if left untreated, can develop into AIDS. This virus may be passed from one person to another through unprotected intercourse with HIV-positive man, infected blood, semen, vaginal secretions, or breast milk. It is very important that you know your HIV status. Every pregnant woman should receive HIV testing early in her pregnancy and again before delivery. A pregnant woman with HIV can reduce the risk of transmitting HIV to her baby to as low as 2% with proper care and treatment from a physician. Torch test It is a blood test given to pregnant women. It can help determine whether the mother has any infectious diseases that could be passed on to the baby such as toxoplasmosis, other diseases including HIV, syphilis and measles, rubella, cytomegalovirus and herpes simplex. Torch screen is typically performed when a woman shows symptoms of any of these diseases during pregnancy. Have less intake of undercooked, cured or raw meats. Avoid cross-contamination while cooking and make sure you wash your cutting board properly. Do less of gardening and handling of soil. Stay away from vegetables and sprouts. 
make sure to drink boiled or filtered water. Do not consume unpasteurized products. Wash your hands as soon as you're done cooking, touching your face, nose, mouth and pets. Preconception counseling. If you're trying to have a baby or thinking about it, then you should start getting ready for pregnancy. Preconception counseling is provided before and between pregnancy to increase the chances of having a healthy baby. Pelvic examination. Pelvic examination is a visual and physical examination of women's reproductive organs. During pregnancy, it is done to check any unusual vaginal discharge or infections. It is important for your health and well-being, as well as to check the growth and development of the baby. Urine and blood testing. There are two types of pregnancy tests. One uses a urine sample and the other a sample of blood. Both the tests are done to detect the presence of a hormone called human chorionic gonadotrophin or HCG. Antenatal period test. These tests are designed to help make your pregnancy safer, check and assess the development and well-being of you and your baby, and screen for particular conditions such as HIV, syphilis, hepatitis B, precis disease, anemia, and diabetes. Fetal assessment. Fetal monitoring in pregnancy varies depending on the clinical scenario. The goal is to prevent fetal death. This test continuously checks the heart rate of the baby. Planned mode of delivery. Vaginal delivery is the most common and safest type of childbirth, but in certain circumstances, other modes of delivery may be used. You need to discuss with your doctor about the modes of childbirth and risk associated with each. Prophylactic treatment of baby after delivery. Health assessment of the newborn begins immediately. One of the first checks is APGAR test. In this, the baby is evaluated for following signs and assigned a value. Activity, muscle tone, pulse rate, grimace, reflex irritability, appearance, skin color, respiration. Score of 7 to 10 is normal. Score of 4 to 6 may indicate that baby needs oxygen and careful monitoring and a score of 3 and below indicates that baby requires immediate oxygen and life-saving techniques. Measurement of temperature, heart rate and respiratory rate. Measurement of weight, length and head circumference. Please visit India Medical Hub and share this video to help create awareness of prenatal infections and to be contributing to the goal of ensuring healthy mothers and infants.